The Hive is a story-based RTS RPG hybrid where you play as the hive mind controlling a species of insectoid space aliens. It's currently in early access on Steam and the developer has sent me a key and asked me to do a video on it, so here it goes. First of all, I think the presentation is quite good. With the exception of the Ron Perlman from Fallout Impersonator in the opening cutscene, I like the voice acting. I think the Insectoid Advisor in particular was well done, as well as some of the additional NPCs that you can run into in the game. We are the Chalatoi, servants of the Drowned God. The production values are not at a AAA level for sure, but they are evocative enough, and the levels at least look beautiful. The options menu and save load features are not yet implemented, which can be annoying, but the UI looks great. It's intuitive and matches the theme of the game, which is excellent because the UI often feels lacking in indie games, and it's a very important part of RPGs and strategy games, so it's good to see that Skydome has given the UI some real spit and polish. That said, the gameplay of the Hive feels like it's lacking in both depth and challenge. I don't play many RTS games, and I still found the Hive, at least during early missions, to be very, very easy from a strategic point of view. There's no fog of war, and the enemies just sort of wait around for you to kill them. There are no other bases being built to compete for resources, which is what most RTS games rely on to add tension to the game. This lack of agency on the part of the enemies also makes the game world feel kind of dead. Although the levels look like they would be fun to explore, the lack of fog of war means I can just view everything without needing to explore, which takes away the surprise and sense of discovery. On the micro level, it's not much better. The moment-to-moment -moment gameplay feels very slow and uninvolved. Although you can equip units with items and level them up like in an RPG, they still feel totally expendable and replaceable because you can just win even if they all die. In a game like XCOM, at least if you lose a powerful unit, it feels like you've lost something that is very valuable. Here, if you lose a unit, you keep all of the items, and the levels don't seem to have that much of an impact on your ability to succeed simply because the game is so easy. It'll just take a long time to build up another army. Gathering resources and building units can take time, and I'd love to be able to speed things up when that happens, but I can't. Even the cutscenes are in a weird place where you can skip the dialogue but not the animations. That's the opposite of what I want to do. I'd love to hear what my insectoid advisor has to say because I enjoy that part of the game, but I don't care to wait while a lone unit walks to a predetermined point on the map. The Hive does have occasional scripted events added in to add variety, but there's still very little tension due to the low difficulty. Right now, the game feels slow and lacking in both moment-to-moment -moment gameplay and mechanical depth. Even if the game had more complexity, it wouldn't really matter because the simple strategy of building as many units as you can works just fine. I could see people enjoy this game in the same way that they enjoy walking simulators because the music is relaxing and the levels feel like they would be fun to explore. But the lack of a fog of war even takes away that avenue for entertainment. Overall, The Hive doesn't yet feel like a game that I would want to play for pleasure. I need something more to convince me, and hopefully by the time it achieves release, it manages to do that.